Hi, this video is the start of a series of TechScrew DIY School. Today is the first episode, which you should definitely watch, because today I will show you how to use a multimeter for different headphone and headset repair scenarios. When you need to modify or repairing headphones, the multimeter is the main diagnostic tool. Today I will also explain typical headphone and headset problems and solutions to these problems. Any cheapest multimeter fits for headphones problem diagnostic. It won't cost more than $10, but it will give you an accurate diagnosis and you can fix your headphones or headset accurately. For these jobs you should use diode or continuity beeper mode or multimeter resistance mode. In these modes the multimeter shows if there is a connection between the test probes. I personally prefer to use the continuity beeper mode because then when making a diagnosis of faulty headphones, I don't have to look at the multimeter display, but I hear a beep, every time, when there is a connection between the test probes. Most often a multimeter can be useful for checking whether the 3.5mm aux cord of your headphones is defective or good for use. Situation. There is no sound from my headphones, the first thing you should always do is check the aux wire if you can disconnect it. If it can't, then bend the wire in all sorts of ways at the 3.5mm jack and at the headphone body, at the cable entrance. If the sound returns even for a quick moment, then you know which part of the audio cord is faulty. If the wire is disconnected, then switch the multimeter to continuity beeper or resistance mode and check all the contacts in sequence to see if the contact is also reachable on the other 3.5mm jack N. Whether a wire is connected to the contact. If all contacts are reachable, then you can also check that there is no short circuit between the contacts. This wire is good, the contacts are reachable and there are no short circuits between adjacent contacts. The other problem is that you definitely need to use a multimeter to repair the headphones. Situation. There is an aux 3.5mm audio cable, but the other 3.5mm jack is damaged and it is missing. To solder the new 3.5mm jack, you need to know the wiring colors of the existing wire, because there are 5 wires, but where to solder them to the 3.5mm stereo jack with 3 contacts? So we take a multimeter with beeper mode on and check each wire to know which color wire is left, right and ground. In this case the 3.5mm jack ground pin is gold with red wire. The gold wire not in use, it may be because the mic is on the cable for this wire. Left pin is red wire. Right pin is green wire. Blue wire is also empty. If you are repairing broken headphones or headsets where there is no sound on one side, right or left, you have to check if the speaker driver is working. For each headphone model, the most common manual specifies the impedance, which is measured in ohms. For the Acme HH08, the impedance is specified as 32 ohms. Then you need to check with a multimeter if something similar is measured on the speaker contacts. The multimeter may give an approximate value 50, 40 or 25 ohms will be okay for 32 ohms headphones. If you have a multimeter reading 1 or infinity, then you know that the speaker driver is dead. The other option is if the multimeter shows zero or something very close, then you may have a short circuit in the wiring, this is very rare though. A fourth situation where a multimeter may be useful is to check the pinouts of various jacks, plugs or sockets. In this case there is a 3.5mm 4 pole socket, for which the pinouts need to be clarified. We insert the socket into a 3.5mm 4 pole jack and use the multimeter in beeper mode to check the contacts until we have identified which pin is left, right, ground and mic. Sorry, it was a long for D episode tech screw DIY school, but knowing how to use a multimeter correctly when repairing headphones is very important, because only that way you can make the correct repair without wasting your time and materials fixing the wrong fault. I am planning several episodes of tech screw DIY school, where I will explain in detail a particular stage of headphone repair. In the comments, what would you like me to tell you in more detail in the next TechScrew DIY School episode? If you have any questions about this episode how to use a multimeter for headphones repair, feel free to post them in the comments below the video. I will also be very happy and grateful if you hit like and subscribe buttons on this video, so we can meet in another valuable DIY video. Have a nice day my friend.